Squid Game Episode 6 is a heartbreaking installment in the Netflix hit thriller and fans were left in tears at some of the deaths. The episode sees the participants play marbles, but the simple childhood game soon turns into a bloodbath. Express.co.uk has all you need to know about who dies in Episode 6 of the TV series. Does Player 212 die in Squid Game? Player 212, Hanmi Nyeo, Kim Ju Young, became one of the most irritating characters in the series. She claimed to be a single mother to a child she was yet to name, but she was not as vulnerable as she made out to be. The mysterious woman tried to form a relationship with Jang Deok Su, Hyo Sung Tae, but he rejected her advances after sleeping with her. Ahead of the Marvels game, the contestants were asked to pick a partner, but nobody wanted to be with Hanmi Nyeo. As she was the odd one out, she and the fans watching believed she would be killed and she was seen getting dragged away by the guards. However, after the game had ended, it transpired they had let her live as it would not have been fair to kill her off as an outcast. Does Player 199 die in Squid Game? Player 199 is Ali Abdul, Anupam Tripathi, a Pakistani worker who needed cash to provide for his wife and child. He formed a strong bond with Cho Sang-woo, Park Hae-soo, in the series, as the high-flying investment worker offered him a lifeline. However, as the game started to get to Sang-woo, he turned against Ali and played a cruel trick on him in Episode 6. He sent Ali off to observe the other teams, having swapped Alice Marbles for Pebbles. As Sang-woo won the game, Ali was eliminated and he ended up with a bullet through his head, confirming his death. He was a fan favorite in the series and viewers were heartbroken to see he had been betrayed. Does Player 001 die in Squid Game? One of the most emotional moments of Episode 6 was when Player 001, Oh Il Nam, Oh Yong Su, sacrificed himself to save Seong Ji Hun, Lee Jung Jae. The pair had chosen each other for the Marvel Challenge, but they were distraught when they learned one of them would die. Ji Hun ended up turning on his new friend as he was afraid of death, and he used the old man's forgetfulness against him. In doing so, he won the game, but the old man confronted him as he knew he had been manipulated. Just as Ji Hun started to feel awful for what he had done, Oh Il Nam handed him his last marble, saying it was a mark of their friendship. He was seemingly shot dead, but fans were shocked to find out he actually lived until the final episode as he was the creator of the game. As viewers did not actually see him drop down dead, his fate was never officially confirmed until episode 9. In the final moments of the South Korean thriller, it was revealed he had been alive the whole time and had created the games himself. He was a rich man who was bored with his way of life and needed some entertainment before he died from his brain tumor. The old man explained how he would have had more fun playing than observing, which is why he chose to join in and risk his own life. After revealing the truth to G.I. Hun about the origins of the game, he died as a result of the tumor. Does Player 240 die in Squid Game? The other tragic casualty in Episode 6 is Ji Yong, Li Yumi, a young woman who killed her abusive father. She became close to Kang Sae Biok, Yung Ho Yun, and the pair decided to work together for the game. Knowing only one of them would come out alive, they decided to spend the majority of the time opening up to each other about their pasts. When the game was almost up, Ji Yong deliberately lost, and in an emotional moment, told Kang Sae Biok she was the only one who had something to live for. SAE Biok was heartbroken to see her new friend sacrifice herself, but player 240 decided it was the right time to go. She was seen saying how honored she was to play with SAE Biok, before she was shot in the head. 